So I had plans to put some cinematics into this video and actually come out somewhat decent for something that I have taken over a month to upload. However, I spent the last two days trying to sort out Ark. Every time I would load a world save, it would end up crashing my game. So I decided to say f*** it and unfortunately you're just going to have to deal without the cinematics. So with that being said, I do apologise, but I hope you guys do enjoy nonetheless. And yeah, enjoy the video. The server had just wiped and with a plan in mind, I spawned into extinction and got ready to do my note run. Alrighty lads, that is actually perfect, we are level 100, it is 15 minutes and 55 seconds since the server wipes, so yeah, we're not doing too bad, so I have a shutdown required. Alrighty, so uh, the server ended up rewiping last night, and um, there was no time of roughly when it was wiping, so I ended up going out, and um, yeah, ended up wiping I think an hour and a half after its original wipe or something like that, so had to redo my note run i didn't bother uh, recording that just because you'd already seen the uh, first one if i even add that in but um yeah i've set up a little starter base over here on crystal isles we've got a may wing and a pt um and a couple basic resources well we have a decent chunk of metal i think the most important thing now is getting the fabricator so we need a paste of oil that in mind i then went out to grab a little bit of oil as well as head over to the desert to grab some chitin and polymer for those turrets. I then came back to base to make the fabricator and place it down. There we are. I'm going to stick most of the important shit in the favy just because it yeah, requires C4 to uh, blow up. So I then decided to go over and grab some silica poles. However, figured while I was on my way, I should check to see if there was any drops. See if the drop's here. It is here. Oh, we have a drop, boys. Let's grab this quickly. Yeah, it's kind of shit. Um, let's see if the other one is over here. It is. We'll grab that. Just grab the drops on my way. Might as well. The drop is there. Let's go up and grab some oxygen quickly. Oh, flat chest BP. That is kind of huge. I mean, it is only like I think 300 euro, but yeah, that's big. Well, this early on anyway, that was very helpful. Upon arriving at the pole spawn, I realised they didn't actually bring any scuba, so I decided just to throw out the anglerfish, farm a little bit of poles, and then swim up to the top to grab some oxygen. After doing this a couple time, I had enough poles that would basically sort me for the wipe. With the poles farmed, I then came back to base and made up my first line of defence, making my base that little bit more secure. 22 bullets, lovely stuff. We're doing absolutely amazing, lads. Right, well, we are not unraidable, but we are slightly more secure than we were before, so yeah, I guess that's better than uh, not. It'll stop someone from running up and just yanking all the shit, so. That's all that really matters to me. After realising the shocking amount of bullets I actually had defending my base, I then decided to craft up a chemistry bench so that I could increase my gunpowder production, which in turn would make my base a little bit more stronger. Mm. Right, well we got like 220 bullets crafting or something like that, so uh, yeah, that's good. We, um, we're leveling up our 11 bullet game and zero bullets so yeah, we're not doing too bad i don't know how long it's been i think we've started maybe an hour ago two hours ago so so boys before we do go any further i would just like to mention this video is sponsored by nitrado so if you don't already know who nitrado is i have been partnered with them for quite a while now if you still haven't heard of them then i obviously haven't done my job correctly but all jokes aside, Nitrado are one of the best server hosting companies out there. If you go onto their website, you can find out things about how to set up your own servers for games like Ark Survival Ascended, DayZ, Minecraft, 
Power World and many many more as well as news articles for updates of all of their games that they support as well as a couple guides for some of your favorite games. So with the release of ASA dropping Scorched Earth, Nitrado have released some Scorched Earth ASA servers and if you do want to try them out or were planning on making a server for ASA Scorched Earth then you can use promo code DESERT10 for 10% off any of your new ASA servers from now until the 28th of April. So, not only will you get the benefit of being able to try out the new game, you'll also get it at a discounted cost, and you'll also be helping out the channel. So, if it is something that interests you, then there is a link down in the description below, as well as in the pinned comment. Make sure you go check it out and take advantage of the 10% off. And with that being said, thank you to Nitrado for sponsoring this video. Alrighty, lads. It has been, um, I think maybe a day maybe even longer than that um one sec i can actually check okay so it is actually the 72 hour or 72nd hour of uh wipe which I believe i started maybe the day after wipe so i think i've been gone for about two days yeah uh we are very 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 fucking behind um i think when i last recorded um i done my kit farm that vips get because uh yeah i was kind of lazy and didn't want to go and tame an anki um so yeah we've got uh, a khaki and a anki now we are very fucking behind so it is about time that we got our grind on i then decided to go over to genesis to set up a farming outpost as this would make my life so much easier for farming a shitload of crystal fiber wood and all of the other basic resources that crystal i sort of lacked After farming everything that I needed, I then crafted up all the structures that I would need to build my Sky Fortress. And once that was complete, I then went over to start building. Alrighty lads. So you would have seen a couple like small clips of me rebuilding, or not rebuilding, but building the main base. Um, however, I'm now over on center as I want to do the uh, alpha boss fight. So I've got basically everything I need. Just need to uh, buy the uh, tributes um, and then yeah, we are basically ready. So I just need to go and find Brock without fucking dying. Alrighty lads, we have the alpha boss fight starting. Hopefully uh, we can complete it. I've got 900 shells and a decent shotgun. So. Boom. The Gorilla is dead. 800 points and we have the engrams, lads. So we are Gucci there. Now I need to somehow get the Broodmother. Alrighty, lads. The Broodmother. I could hatch it, I can't lie. It's dead. Boom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got fourteen hundred element from this boss fight. That is kind of nuts. I'm not gonna lie, kind of nuts. But yeah, fourteen hundred, not bad. Alrighty, first order of business is going to be this crafting station, as we're gonna need this to make the uh, replicator. Rep. Boom. We have a rep. Let's go, lads. We'll stick the rep right here. We are sure. Need a tech gen. Boom. Boom. Alrighty. Now let's get our first tech turrets Do 10 for now i then decided to spend some time on the actual shell of my base on what would make it as strong as it actually was and well after half an hour this is what it looked like <laughs> 
Alrighty lads, so we uh, the, the base is starting to take shape. Um, we've got a couple more bits and bobs to do, but yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. So yeah, there's not really much of an update, but that's basically as far as we've got so far. So I'm going to continue and play some, placing these double door frames until this base is fully enclosed. Alrighty lads, so the cage i believe is 100 percent complete for the uh top section anyway um i think the only thing i've got to do now is bring a couple layers down um to place some you know under um under turrets um and then i want to get i think a shandy here uh, so yeah, I think one run either here or there one of the places I want one on this general area on this side And then I'm gonna do another one on the other side wherever I can see that um, Makes sense and then we need to spam the shit out of this tree To uh, stop people being able to ramp up and you know raid in it fairly easy. So yeah, it's not looking too bad It's not looking too bad at all um, With the boss fight and everything so far. This is taking me under an hour so um yeah i'm not complaining all righty lads we just came back from a quick charcoal run once it decides that it wants to fully load i think we got like 100k charcoal which is perfect just what we needed for the uh gunpowder that we need to craft there we go so let's get this bitch pumping bastard just managed to make it back i've got no crosshair on so i can't even fucking see where i'm shooting properly shit my entire base is soaked this isn't good After coming online and killing the guy once, as well as getting their Quetzal on the brink of death, they decided to leave my base, although they were so close to getting in to the point where 90% of my turrets were already soaked, so I'm not actually sure why they decided to give up. However, it was lucky for me, so I spent some time filling the rest of my turrets and then logged off for the night as it was already pretty late. However, the next morning, I woke up to my Discord logs pinging off my phone. Oh, I had fucking nets on me. Why didn't I just net the fucking Quetzal? I'm an idiot. Fuck, where's my nice shadow sticks expired?
fucking reload. You lucky cunt. Is that him I see there? Yup. He's dead. Yup. Oh, there's two. for the kit my friend no way they're coming out with the fucking quetzal all right i'm about to net this quetz oh i see his mate's teammate's body i don't know if i'm gonna get Thank you. Oh, Quetzal went back in, but it's it's sticking up. Oh, I can't hit it. Rip. So I'm probably sure you're all wondering why I decided to go for the kit instead of the Quetzal. And the main reason for that is, yes, I could have netted the Quetzal and there was the possibility of me killing it. However, with the turrets that were around their tech bubble, it would mean that I'd only be able to shoot the Quetzal from above, which would make it that little bit harder for me to even kill it, meaning I'd probably end up wasting my time and they'd end up getting a kit as well. However, nevertheless, they ended up leaving for the rest of the wipe. I never ended up seeing them again. I even left their fob there as I wanted them to come back, but for some reason they didn't. So I guess I won the battle. I then spent a period of time organizing my tames, redesigning my crafting station, adding some more defense to my base, and all the small minor jobs of organizing blueprints and just boring stuff that is irrelevant for content. I then went out to check on my neighbors, who I don't think I've actually properly introduced. However, I noticed their base at the start of the wipe off camera, and when I checked it that evening, they had progressed quite nicely. And at this point, it was about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't really have anything to do, and I wasn't particularly tired. And this was probably one of my biggest mistakes. Not because something went wrong, but just for the simple fact that this was probably the most annoying base to try and raid. Now you see, I don't know if it was just a Crystal Isles thing, or if it's a thing for Ark, or if it was just a certain thing with the server. However... The easiest point of their base was quite high up and at any of the low points there was nowhere really safe for me to ramp up to their base as I couldn't get the foundation support close enough without being shot by turrets and with the sheer number of turrets were in that general area it would make raiding this base so much harder as I was pretty down bad on veggie cakes. So I tried to do what I could however every time I got close to soaking their turrets I would end up getting a no foundation support issue meaning I couldn't get any closer to their base to try and soak more turrets. At one point I thought I caught a break, however that was short lived, as once those turrets were soaked, I couldn't really do anything else. I even tried to dive in on a snow owl to see if I could find any blind spots, however unfortunately that didn't really work either. So at this point I was pretty demotivated with the raid, and decided to go back to base, log off for the night and come back at it tomorrow, and that was probably one of the best decisions. That next morning, I woke up with the full on intent to wipe this base and not stop until I had succeeded. So you can imagine my surprise when I went over there to scout their base to see if they'd done any upgrades before I'd got on and I noticed that their turrets were completely off. So first thing I did was run back to base to grab some C4 and blew straight in. At this point, I had so many questions that would soon get answered down to the fact that the generator had just run out of element. Meaning these guys must have given up a long time ago, or they put shards in their tech gen instead of element itself. However, I wasn't complaining. The base was absolutely loaded. I was in so much shock that I completely forgot to even unmute my microphone, which is why this is all being voiceovered. However, it definitely wasn't as entertaining as I would have liked it. But nevertheless, we got the loot and it was quite a decent chunk. However, once I'd got all of it back to base, that was basically marking the end of my time on the server. 
the population had dropped to almost zero, having peaked around maybe six players as it was so late into the wipe. So I placed down my text force field, stuck it to the maximum and logged off, leaving my base to crumble until the server reset. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry it took so long to get released and I'm not going to bore you and keep apologizing for being so absent. However, I can promise you will not have to wait for the next episode as long as you did for this one. In fact, I'm currently in the process of editing it. With that being said, if you did enjoy this video and you are looking forward to the next video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.